What's up and welcome to the Phyllis Film Baby Journey. I'm Raquel and I'm going to need all y'all newbies to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because I'm going to be showing y'all how to get rid of baby acne and any other skin conditions that your baby may be dealing with from Malia to dry flaky skin. This is going to work for you. Keep watching to see what I did. My son Legend is exactly one month old today. It is August 9th. He was born July 9th and he is suffering from baby acne, possible cradle cap, and I think it's pronounced Malia, um, which is all some skin conditions. As you can see on his body, he has some, you know, little bumps as well. Uh, so this is not just exclusive to his face. And I feel so sad that my handsome little boy is going through this. So I ordered some stuff off of Amazon, which I'm going to share with you now. And hopefully we're going to see if this works. We tracking the progress. So if it do, y'all know what to do if y'all baby suffering from similar skin conditions. I spent my own coins, a whole $48 to get this stuff delivered same day or at 3 o'clock. It was at my house by 8 o'clock. I'm about to give Legend a bath. The first thing is um, no rinse. Soothing cleansing water. Uh, it's for the face and diaper area. So this is supposed to be for sensitive skin. There's no perfumes in here. It's highly rated. Um, you know, so I'm hoping that that will help, you know, clear up some of the situation that we got going on. And then I have some gentle cleansing gel. That's for the hair and body. And then we have this uh foam shampoo for newborns which is for cradle cap so we're going to give him a bath use all these products and see if there's any you know improvement you know immediately um and then we're just going to keep tracking this you know as we go this is day one all right now i'm going to go in with the gentle cleansing gel and i'm going to actually use my hand for this Going to lather it up. I'm going to gently apply this. Can I get your other cheek, Mister? Does it feel good? Does it feel good? Does it feel good, sir? I'm going to use the towel to cleanse the rest of his body. Let's get your back. Can I get your back? Thank you. We're almost done. Now let's do your. Let's get your hair washed. Oh. Now I'm going to moisturize just his body with the Savino um, Baby Nighttime Balm. It's formulated for babies with eczema. I had this because I use this on my feet, baby, because it is the truth. Um, but this is my first time using it on him because it's kind of thick. But since it's made for babies and it doesn't have like heavy oils or anything like that, I think it may be good and possibly may help his skin as well. I know this isn't the Mucella brand that I, you know, have been using. So I can't, you know, if this works, I can't credit all to them. So I will be using this as well. So this is how it's looking after his bath. Um, look, y'all, my baby got a ball spot. 
but I ain't worried about it because my babies are born with silky hair and then it all falls out and then the curly hair grow in. But not a drastic improvement yet. But let's see how he's looking when he wake up in the morning and I'll keep you posted. So just keep on watching. Hey, mister. This is day two after using Justin Mastella on his face. Um, I will say there is a slight improvement. Um, the flakes were white. Now they're turning more yellow as though um, they're being dried out more. Um, his texture on his cheeks feels better. I mean, it was feeling like freaking, it's just softer. Yesterday, my baby felt like a lizard. <laughs> and I was like, oh my Lord, what's going on here? Still has the red bumps on his body. Uh, but this is day two. His doctor called and told me to get some hydrocortisone, 0.5% uh, and mix it with some Cetaphil baby lotion. So it is hard to find 0.5% hydrocortisone in the stores and I couldn't. So I had to order it from Amazon, but we are going to go ahead and put this on his face. But before we do that, I am still going to go back in with the... Um, Soothing cleansing water. I'm going to put it on a cotton ball and cleanse his face with this. Cotton ball. Put about three pumps of this on here. Now I'm going to go in with the moisturizer. This is my first time putting moisturizer on his face because all the tips say don't put any moisturizer on their face. I know the doctor said to mix it with the hydrocortisone cream, but I have to wait for that to get here tomorrow. This was able to be delivered to me today from Amazon. Um, since the doctor okay, I figured just using it by itself would be fine because he definitely needs some moisture. Day three. Yeah, he's still looking pretty, pretty bad here. But we're going to go ahead and cleanse his face, put the Mistella, uh no rinse water and put on some more moisturizer. Still waiting for the hydrocortisone to arrive from Amazon. This is how his skin looks after I apply the Cetaphil Baby Lotion. So pretty much gets rid of most of the flakes here. But obviously my baby's still suffering. Amazon felt me. They sent me a 1% cream. So I went to CVS and they actually had regular strength hydrocortisone cream for sensitive skin. So this is 0.5% as you can see on the box. Um, typical hydrocortisone cream that you find in store is 1% and that's maximum strength. But for babies you want to use the 0.5% so that you know you don't hopefully do anything that hurts their skin. So I'm gonna take off his little onesie and I'm gonna apply this to his body. After that, I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil Baby Ultra Soothing Lotion with Shea Butter just to keep the baby um, moisturized during this whole process. Here's a close up after we have applied the hydrocortisone cream. Just want you to see that we still have some red bumps here. This is day three, as I stated earlier. So we are looking for signs of improvement. Hopefully we'll see some in the morning. All right, this is day four. And there is definitely an improvement. Uh, so, so far the winner combination is the hydrocortisone. 0.5% cream in the Cetaphil lotion that the doctor recommended. Um, on camera, he looks redder than what he is. But today when he woke up, I was like, oh my gosh, he's not as red as he typically is. Um, his skin is smoother and he's not happy. He's like, get this camera out of my face. Stop telling these people my business. But I'm about to clean his face um, with the micellar. Apply some more hydrocortisone and some more Cetaphil to his face. I just want to give you an update of what day four looks like. Today is day five and we have a noticeable improvement on his skin. 
Um, last night was bath night, so he did get a bath in the Mustela Gentle Cleansing Wash. Um, afterwards, I did his regular routine of, you know, washing his face with the uh, Gentle Cleansing No Rinse Water and then applying the Hydrocortisone and Cetaphil Baby Lotion. And this is the results of that today. So there's still some issues with some flaking. Um, but I mean, overall, I mean, his skin is drastically better by day five. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm expecting some good things here in the next couple days. Like him being fully cleared. And here's the other side of his face, just to show y'all how drastic the change has been by using that hydrocortisone and Cetaphil baby lotion. That is the winner with the micellar water to rinse his face beforehand. This is the morning of day six. I have not put anything on his face yet, but I'm getting ready to clean it with the Mustela soothing water and put some Cetaphil lotion on there. But I wanted you guys to see his body because as you saw, he had some bumps on his arms and legs and things prior as well. And that has pretty much cleared up with the hydrocortisone and Cetaphil baby lotion as well. So I'm going to consider my baby, you know, clear, you know, because y'all saying he was, he started off looking a hot mess. Stay tuned and I'm going to give you my recommendation for products because I bought everything. But I'm going to tell you what worked and how to apply it and how often to apply it so that you can get these same results. Thank you for rocking with us as we figured out what products worked and which ones didn't to clear up Legends Baby Acne. It took us six days, but what I'm going to recommend could probably get your baby clear in three days. Now, if you remember, I was waiting for some hydrocortisone cream for about two of those days. And I believe that if I had started that sooner, he would have been cleared sooner. So the very first product I'm recommending is 0.5% hydrocortisone cream. I got it from CVS. Hopefully you can find some in your local CVS, Walgreens, or drugstore. Typically it's 1%, but since it's a baby, you don't want to do the full 1%. So I'm going to recommend that product as well as the Mustela Soothing Cleansing Water and some Cetaphil Lotion. Those three. Them three right there, that'll get you together. So what you want to do is first cleanse the face with that Mustela Cleansing Water. And what I love about that is it's no rinse. So literally that's just the kind of, you know, use a little pad to get off the little flakies, you know, wet it up. Add the hydrocortisone cream and then add some lotion on top of that and do that in the morning and do that in the evening before the baby goes to sleep, so twice a day. And in three days, your baby will have noticeably clearer skin. Now listen, I'm not no doctor, I'm not a dermatologist, so do not be up in here trying to sue me if this don't work for you. This is what worked for my baby, okay? Um, and I'm just here to share, share and scare. Um, but I wanna thank you for watching this episode. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you join the family and give this video a thumbs up. I'm out.